guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about why I actually decided to stop using Diva Curl. I had similar experiences to some of the ladies that have posted about their experience. So without further ado, why don't we get right into this video so y'all can hear the tea and know what happened. I actually was searching on YouTube for um, curly haircuts that people who had experienced like really good experiences getting a curly haircut and that's how I came about Diva Curl. I did not realize at the time that there was an entire line of high-end products and so with knowledge and with knowledge with learning and researching then I realized that there was this was a whole line of high-end products. So I decided to go and get my first diva cut in 2017 which I will link down below. I had a great experience with the cut. The cut was done very well. I couldn't complain about the cut. However, it was my first time ever using the Diva Curl products and um I hated Hated, 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 hated how the products left my hair. Even back in 2017, I did not like it. I, my hair felt really ratty, like horse hay, and it never felt like that before. And then my curls were like close to my head and then like ringlet, not, not, not ringlets, like spaghetti. So it didn't really have a curl pattern to it. I assumed it was because they used way too much product. My hair is low proximity, so, you know, low porosity. Yo, <laughs> my hair is low porosity, so it can't really take too much product in it without it really bringing on the curls and then just losing all of its volume and then um, the pattern that it does have. But besides that, I absolutely love, I love the haircut. And then I vowed that I would always go and get my hair cut from Diva Curl. So, so from there, I decided to start trying out more of their products, thinking that the line that I was using, which was the line, um, the ultra defining curl lines, I would use the gel and the cream. I figured that that line maybe wasn't the best for me because it left my hair like that. So I decided that I would, you know, try out products as they came out in the mini size that they would sell at Sephora since I, you know, they're really pricey products and I couldn't afford them all. I went back for my second Diva Curl cut in 2018 and I had another really great experience with the cut. But this is also where the problem started to come in, but I didn't realize. So. If you've watched my videos before, and I've said it in the past, and I, I would always say after I got the Diva Curl cut, and I didn't really understand why, but the top at the crown of my head, it would not curl back to regular, and I thought it was the haircut. And it very well, very well may have been from the haircut in 2017 and in 2018, but then I, as I progressed in my story, then it clearly wasn't the haircut anymore. It was something either with the products that I was using, I'm not too sure, but as I progress in my story, I will explain that part. So when I went to the Diva Curl Cut Salon in 2018, I had a really good cut, and they gave me this product called Believe in Moisture, or Believe in to Moisture, or whatever. Um, and it was a product that I started to swear by. It was like my holy grail product because my hair was so dry. And I didn't, and I never understood why I would always do, do my deep conditioning routines, but my hair was just extremely dry. They suggested that I use this product. I so was really a fan of that, and I felt like it was helping me. Throughout that time in 2018, I noticed that my hair was getting frizzy while wet and doing all these other things that it had not been doing. But I just assumed that that was me because my hair is really weird and just doing crazy stuff all the time. So I didn't take any heed to it. The last time that I went to Diva Curl was literally this time last year. Um, truthfully, from that, from that time on, I told myself I will never go back to get my hair cut at Diva Curl. I had an overall, just a really bad experience and I did not enjoy it like I had in the past. This and time, I, I wanted to actually go to um, a senior stylist because I was having the problems again with the crown of my hair um, curling. So I went to Diva Haircut Salon and I was actually late showing up. So what happened was, uh, yeah, I was late. I just had train trouble, but I called ahead and I was like, listen, um, I know that I'm running around 20 minutes late. I, so when I get up to the salon, in total, I was about, I was almost like a half hour late. So it was extremely late. So I was like, 
here, I'm just here to pay um, the okay. little unfair me to have the senior stylist waiting. I know other people would probably have wanted to book her time, but since I was late and I missed the 15 minute window, I definitely want to come here to pay my late fee. So the senior stylist said, no, 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 I want to cut your hair, please don't go. And I told her at this time now, because I was late, I was just like, no, I would rather you don't cut my hair because I don't want you to rush to be able to accommodate your next client. And she assured me in that moment, I will not rush to cut your hair. Um, I don't have another client after you. So I have a plenty of time to take care of your hair. So I said, okay. And then I was really, really thankful. I was like, oh my word, she's going to accommodate me even though I was super late. Like this was so sweet. And definitely at that point in my head, I was like, this really matches the price tag. Uh, so I was like, please don't rush. And she was like, ah, don't you worry. I was in the chair all of like seven to 10 minutes before she was done. My hair, which I will insert a link, a, a picture right here of how long my hair was. My hair was very long. I didn't ask for inches to be cut off. I asked for it to be trimmed and cut into layers so that my hair had extra volume. Honey, when I left that, when I got out of the chair, my Hair was extremely, extremely short. And I was like, oh, okay. So at this point, I'm already feeling like really iffy now about the haircut. And I'm like, mm, this isn't what I wanted, but my hair is already on the floor. I can't get it back, so I'm just gonna go through the full process. Uh, and then this is the, and I'll put a picture of what my hair looked like after. And then the man was like, this guy who was putting the product through my hair was like, I'm going to try out some new products for you because I know that you complained about your hair not curling at the crown. And secondly, I know that you, um, said that your hair has been pretty frizzy when wet, which isn't something that my hair had experienced before. But he get, put those products in my hair and we sat, and I sat there for like a good 30 minutes with the deep conditioner in my hair. I actually put the product in my hair. I'm sitting under the dryer. And I noticed that my hair is uneven. Now that I can see it, like some ringlets are a little bit longer than the other. So I simply say, hey, do you guys mind if my haircut is a little bit more even? There are ringlets that were like this long and then some that were like this long. So like I needed it to be adjusted in there before I left, like, you know? So I said, hey, would you mind having the senior stylist come over here and just, you know, chop off a couple of these ringlets that are a little bit longer? When the senior stylist comes back, she doesn't even take the time to actually go through and to cut off the ringlet. She's like, throws my hair like this. And she's like, oh, I didn't see any, I didn't see any problems with your hair. And so I was like, no, look at this ringlet is clearly longer. And so she just chopped it and that was it. But there was other ringlets that I couldn't see from the back that really clearly needed to be cut off because the haircut was uneven. So when I got home, I had to cut it myself. In the salon, the woman provided me again with the Believe in Moisture products and other things. And she was just like, use this at the, use this with your hair. And I promise that you're going to get the curl pattern that you wanted. So this is where the problem really started. Um, I was just like, I really, really want the crown on my head to match the regular of my curls. I'm going to use this product. From February to, um... From February to mid summerish, I was using the Believe In product solely on the crown of my hair. Nowhere else because I am very, very cheap and very, very frugal. Those products are extremely expensive and I couldn't because I just go through products like nothing because I have just such a big head and a lot of hair. I have four other go-to products and that's Kinky Curly, Mixed Chicks, Curls, and uh, Camilla Rose. So those are the only other products that I've used unless I'm doing really a tutorial or a product review I typically do not stray away from these products. However, I was not using any of those products on the crown of my hair So like this much of my hair I was not using the products on I was using solely the diva curl one uh, my my curls they were just wavy and they weren't curly they were frizzy when wet they were not curly at all so then i had to start doing all these stupid things like i've showed in the past 
to make sure that my hair, the crown of my head, which is the most important part that everybody could see, matched the rest of my curls. So then I would put, um, what is that thing called? curl formers in my hair and I would finger curl it, it would not work. And I was like, I don't understand. I don't understand why. I'm so confused. I don't know. So then finally, I was just like, the rest of my curls are fine with any of the products that I'm using. The top of my curls are only seeming to get worse. And I was only using the Diva Curl products on the top of my hair. See, I have not used Diva Curl products since at least August. So it's been since August. I'm filming this video now in February, so it's been August, September, October, November, January, February. So for the last six months, I have not used a Diva Curl product in my hair at all. No Diva Curl product at the top of my head, no more. The crown of my head always had the most problems doing the perfectly defined curls. Using the Diva Curl products worsened the top of my head instead of strengthening it. I was like, no, it must be something wrong. It must be the cut. It was none of that. It was the product and it was ruining my hair more and more each time. So I stopped using it in its entirety. My, my hair, hair up almost every single week. I don't usually leave it out because I would have to literally cut uh, off the top of the head. What? I had to cut off the top of the crown of my hair to make the curl patterns come back regularly. My other hair is healthy. It's just the crown. I just don't see. I just can't justify that. So there's that. So for the last like six months seven months i've been putting my hair up just up all the time just up back up in a ponytail up somehow and everyone's like they used to leave your hair out curly all the time i was like yeah i know my hair is just going through something i'm not really sure i didn't know i was like maybe it's because i'm getting older i'm not sure what's happening with my hair but it's just not doing the things that it used to do so yeah, I didn't want to put a damper on all the people who are reviewing about Diva Curl, but I did want to share my story and what happened with me and why I decided to break up with Diva Curl. And I do want to make a disclaimer. I didn't film this video last year, one, because I was taking a hiatus off of YouTube for like an entire year. Don't ask me why. I was like trying to focus on like career and everything. I don't know. But also I didn't film it because it's really not me or my personality because I felt like I was only solely going to film a YouTube video and it would have only been negative things to say because I had such a bad experience. I couldn't find one nice or decent thing to say about my experience. So and it's not me to come online or to anyone in just general and just start bashing things in its entirety that it's just not my personality. So I decided not to I felt like it was just one bad experience over my other times and that I should just suck it up. And it's a problem that I've had trying to eat one find my voice and making sure that I can speak on something even if it is negative and two not to be afraid because it's not that big of a deal so there it is that's my story I hope you guys liked it and thank you so much for listening make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video thank you bye